Hey, X-Factor, this is Ben York at phoenixmercury.com. We are sitting here with the backdrop of the Staples Center downtown Los Angeles and also here with Mercury President Amber Cox. Amber, just a few months ago we were talking about the draft. Now we're in the playoffs. What, I mean, how's that feel? You know, um, it's been a whirlwind since April, uh, drafting Brittany, getting started with training camp, high expectations going into the season, and you know, I, we still have really high expectations. It's been an up and down season, but as Diana said recently and coaches said uh, recently as well, you know, it really is about the journey. And there's always going to be ups and downs uh, to get to where you want to be. And, you know, as far as we're concerned, we're in the playoffs. We're in a good position. We're playing well. We have people healthy. Uh, we're in a really great position. But, yeah, it's been, a, it's been quite a year, but a fun year. And in the last couple of weeks, it seems like it's been a, a game day, a travel day, a game day, a travel day. Uh, we have had a couple of days off here before game one. Tonight, ESPN2, 2013 playoffs open up. How do you feel the team's mentality is going into this game? They have to be rested because they got a day and a half of rest. It was quite a, a road trip. I was exhausted, and I never even played. So, um, I, you know, I think everybody feels really good about it. We were talking yesterday about... Uh, the fact that really we've only had, if you think about it, one game, uh, and I think it was the Atlanta game about a week and a half ago, where we had we've had everyone on the floor healthy and playing. And even at that point, Penny was just coming off of her her uh, knee surgery, so played limited minutes. And even against San Antonio, the big win at the last regular season home game, um, you know, Candace didn't play much. So it really has been. You know, trying to get everybody healthy at the right time, and we feel like we're in a good position. We managed everyone's minutes, managed everyone's time through that uh, rough road trip, and, you know, we're going to be ready to go tonight. Talk about the support that you've received from the Suns and the Coyotes and D-backs and the Beat LA video. It's got to be good to have uh, the sports teams around the Valley kind of uh, supporting the Mercury. Yeah, I say it all the time, especially in our own house with the Suns. Uh, we really do have the greatest people uh, working for the Mercury, for the Suns, and everybody really gets on board to help out, which is fantastic. But, you know, it's so cool to see sp uh, stars from around the Valley, Shane Doan, Larry Fitzgerald, Gonzo, the mayor. Uh, of course, the Rattlers have been huge to us all year in terms of their support and vice versa. So it's been a lot of fun, and, and uh, it's been nice to see the, the Valley really rally behind the Mercury. And what it's all about is on the basketball court. So what do we have to do to win? Um, well, defend. You know, that's kind of the new mantra of the Mercury. So I think, you know, we have to get up and uh, really get after L.A. tonight and make sure, you know, we stop what they want to do and prevent them as much as we can. They're an outstanding basketball team led by Candace Parker. So it won't be an easy task, but certainly feel like uh, when we've got everything moving in the right direction, uh, we can be unstoppable. So it should be a great series, 2-2 um, two, two throughout the season in terms of wins and losses. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Game 2, U.S. Airways Center on Saturday. A lot of the good stuff happening. Maybe just talk about the, the uh, response from the fans and how excited everyone is to come to the game on Saturday. Well, you know, in Phoenix, uh, all you really have to say is beat L.A., and that really gets everyone uh, going. We've had some fun back and forth with L.A. on Twitter uh, this week, which has gotten the fans really excited. And, uh, you know, again, I think it's going to be a rockin' Saturday night at U.S. Airways Center, playoff atmosphere, thunder sticks, uh, packed arena. So, you know, it's going to be a great time, and hopefully we can come out of there with a win. First up is game one tonight, 7 o'clock, ESPN 2, Beat L.A.